Who is fooling who? Now, if your heart is disconnected from God, then you are fooling yourself. Because God cannot be fooled. Hallelujah. Amen. According to the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 24, God knows the hearts of all men. Hallelujah. Amen. He is not just looking at the outside. He is looking at the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So you cannot mock God. If you know very well that you are not yet saved. This is an opportunity for you to set matters right with God. If you say I want to connect my heart with God. I'm asking you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To stand on your feet we want to help you to lead you in the prayer of salvation. God bless you as you are standing up let's encourage them. Thank you, Jesus. Standing as you are, um, requesting you to lift up your hands and close your eyes. I want you to say, Lord Jesus Christ. I come to you. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I want to stop fooling you. Because I know when I fool you, I'm fooling myself. Wash me by the blood of Jesus. And accept me in your kingdom. From today, I want to live for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, for those of you who have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, you have taken a wonderful decision in your life. And uh, I want you to take note of the following. Now that you are saved, you are a different person altogether. You are no longer what you were. The Bible says, for they that are in Christ are a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. Now, it is important that when you are saved, you get a place or a church where you can go and fellowship and you can be natured spiritually. A church that believes in the whole counsel of the word of God. People whom you live with must know about this new journey that you have embarked on. The journey of being a child of God. You must speak it boldly and the devil must know that surely you are a child of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You must read the word of God. Hey, you must be proud of this word. You must pray. Show me a weak Christian, I will show you a Christian who doesn't pray. I want you to lift up your hands, you start praying for yourself, whatever you want. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ right now.
in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. That is your air. That is your air. That is your air. That is your air. In Jesus' name. Uh, no, that happened only last week, on Tuesday. I came here last week, Tuesday. Uh, a problem, I had a problem. My leg was having sores on top here. I was unable to walk and I was walking by my barefoot over May. Since May, Udanganga Tuesday, no? My coming here on Tuesday. Ah, thango bo bananga Tuesday. Baba jido fa ba chuchua no chuo ba chiko chuisa no chuisa. On Tuesday, this leg was terrible. Wo ba chivana madi. Even water was oozing out. That wa fa no. After prayer on Tuesday. Ndo tanga neza dembela anga. Receiving my miracle. Uh, by this foot. Saturday. From Tuesday up to Saturday. This leg was dry. It was not just dry. It's because the Lord cares for me. I thank God for this miracle. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ndiko libu wa ando fora nga chitroku, ndisa kono wamba. Ndisa kono chimbira, ndisa kono ufuwa. Vanda wanga banjia, vandisa fandara beleriwa. Ushika ni chito wienda tofora, duwa limuna lingwa wajikondisa. Vanta bela, ndofora, riko renda muzimu. Praise the Lord. I thank God for what he has done. For me, I was attacked of stroke and I was helpless. I couldn't even wake up if I'm sleeping. I was unable to speak. I was unable to walk. But my children took me every time to the service and I received the prayers. And now I thank God that I am healed and I'm able to speak and walk. <laughs> 